What's up everyone, um, today we're going to be talking about how to use your standard deviation in your four of three to top and bottom tick on the market. Before we begin this video, thank you all the seven person that watched my last video and noticed my new channel and I've recently started posting and showing you guys how to top tick and bottom tick. This, um, I'm not in this trade, I'm currently watching this trade right now and seeing how it's playing out. Um, in the discord group that I have most people in I was talking to them and telling them that I'm seeing that there's a lot of volatility here on the market so y'all could actually take a long and bottom take this market here so I don't know if they entered or not but to begin this video um, we're gonna be talking about how to use a power of tree and your standard deviation if you do not know what is a power of tree a power of tree is accumulation and manipulation distribution and what does that mean um, accumulation mean we have consolidation and when we have consolidation on the market what do we get after we're gonna have um, manipulation after so this is our manipulation leg right here and then this is going to be our distribution leg here so if you watch the part one of this video I'll show you guys on how this is effective on the market and how you could catch it out of the trades on the market so this is your accumulation um, leg here sorry this is your accumulation accumulation leg here this is your manipulation um, and then this is your distribution one sec and this is your distribution so how does this how could you use this with your um, standard deviation? So using this standard deviation, you're basically going to be marking out your opening of your market. So, so let's say for example, um, or 2M candy is bullish, right? So, so where is bullish? Your bullish candy actually showing a lot of strong buyers, right? So where's the opening of that candy? The opening of the candy is down here. If, if you do not know um if you do not know what is cisd i will be making a video of that um change the state that delivery so i'll be making a video of that and show you guys how important is this tool so um using the opening of that price you're going to be using a fibonacci if you watch my last video i show you my fibonacci settings so you could use that so you're going to be basically using your opening of that um sorry you're going to be using your open at of that candle and then use a Fibonacci and try it out from the top to the bottom to the top and then after you're going to be seeing where the point of interest is at on your fib so say for example we got on um, on the higher time frame we got uh, let's say we got and um, we could say we got a order block here a rejection block here so using that um rejection block it basically shows us that um price is going to be bouncing off back off of that so this right here is rejection this right here is a rejection block so price is basically going to be bouncing off of that rejection block and then push it back more higher you could get and then you could enter it off from here so for example you set your limit harder here and then it's basically Put your stop loss right under here target this here um, for a side and then you could target the negative one so this is how you could use your standard deviation and four of three the bottom tick on the market using it on the live market this is how i ended up using it today um and bottom tick this trade today and basically i did the same thing that i showed you guys um mark out my buy side my sell side then going on my 15 minute time frame actually sorry on my one hour time frame and i see that there's a lot of volatility down here too a lot of volatility here and i was hopefully i wanted to see a lot of volatility here too but i didn't get enough confirmation for there so i was waiting to see if there's any more confirmation so what do we see right here we got a rejection block we got a favorable gap here and i was going to be using this um, ADM, where is it? Sorry, the ADM open 
to bottom tick but I set my limit order here press and tap into it then I move my limit order so going to the 15 minute time frame you could see that um, I entered off from here bottom tick to here and then the second trade sorry I top tick this whole trade and then the second trade right here I was hoping, hoping to actually enter off on it but I didn't because I wasn't looking forward for any other trades and my TP about the heat soon so that's something beautiful so this is what I do on the regular stuff so we'll mark out the opening of that and then after we mark out the opening of that what do we see price tap into did it tap into here yes it did but did price reject off of it no why because we didn't have any key levels at that area did price tap into here yes we did reason for that is we got a key level at that area where price want to tap into so going on our one hour time frame sorry going on our one hour time frame where is the opening of this candle here so this candle here is your 9, um, 9 a.m open and most people say 9 30 open and 9 30 always got a big move let me show you again 9 30 um, we got a big move so a 9 a.m. candle comes in with this two set so basically set your limit order here put your stop loss here so today trades end up setting my limit order here stop loss here sorry okay first I target this low and I was hoping to see price actually come back down more lower lower and tap into this actually this rejection block that's right here and then I enter off on a buy but price didn't do that so when I saw this rejection block farm on the 15 minute time frame saw the price tap into the 50% um, the of that and then push back up so this is today's video and I'll be making a part 3 on how to top tick and a bottom tick again for um, people who do not understand this video so thank you all for watching this video and I'll catch you later again